Hey guys, so so many of you are asking me how I'm editing my Instagram pictures lately. So I thought I'd just come on and do a video for you guys um, and show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. Um, yeah, I will say that I use um, Lightroom, which is a program by Photoshop. And I create my own custom filters, but I'll show you guys and walk you guys through the process of how I do that all from start to finish so you guys can see how I edit my pictures. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. Oh yeah, and um, all of my pictures and editing is done on my phone. My pictures are taken on my phone and they're edited on my phone. So yeah. I love this picture. One of my subscribers did this for me. It's so pretty. Hey. Hey guys. So you have been asking me on my Instagram, blowing my Instagram up, asking me how I edit my pictures, and I told you guys I was working on the video. You guys didn't believe me, so haha, I told you I was working on the video, and I'm just going to quickly go through and show you guys how I edit my pictures so you guys can know. And yeah, let's go into the video. So we're going to start off with, this is a before and after, before and after of how I edit my pictures. There's a lot that goes into like the way I like my pictures to look. So basically you just have to figure out how you want your pictures to look. This is how I like my layout and my specific details. So yeah, anyways, I have some preset settings already that I have saved in my Lightroom app that I always do for every picture. So I just click um, on my preset and then I go and customize it. So I always add warmth to my picture and then I'm gonna go and customize my warmth because for every picture I like a different setting of warmth, if that makes sense. And so to play around with warmth, you work on the tan and the yellow settings in color. So it depends on every photo is different. And I also go and tweak my reds because I want my reds to pop a lot because I wear a lot of red and I like it that to stick out in each picture so I always go and really saturate my reds and take all the green out of the red um, and make my greens really dull because green and uh, red play off each other so if you dull green more then red will automatically pop more so then I just go and I play with my exposure I never like my photos too bright, but not too dull at the same time. Um, I go. I always have my shadows up, um, and my uh, de. I always dehaze the picture just to make sure because it is taken on my iPhone that it's like crisp, it makes it look more professional. And I always. Uh, bring my shadows all the way up like in 70 or 80 range um, So this is the before and after of my picture Yeah, it's how I usually like them to look something around this style Okay, moving on to the next picture um, It's got like the same type of background, so it's going to be similar editing so I always go and hit my auto preset on my pictures so to save time. I play on my uh, warmth. I like my my photos really warm and it's hard to pick up warmth with the iPhone camera. So um, this is closer with it to what it really looks like in real life anyways. Um, so I go and I take my yellow out. I don't like my pictures to be too yellow. I want them more caramely versus more yellow. So, and I play on my reds, like I said, I bring the reds all the way up, and I like my blacks really deep, so I always deepen up my blacks, so everything black in the picture 
ends up looking really crisp and black. And I take the highlights down and the contrast down, um, which is similar in every picture. And this one was really quick. Um, yeah, that one is done. Super simple, super easy. Save that. And here's another photo, a little bit different editing. So this photo had a car in it and I didn't like the car. It was messing up the vibe. So I went to the app Retouch and I took it out. And um, so this picture looks nothing like the way it looks in real life. So I'm trying to get it back to that. Plus the way I like to edit my pictures. I like warmth like we've established before. So I always go and play on the warmth first because then it'll be easier for me to go in and fix the rest of the colors based off of the warmth I like in my pictures. So I played on the warmth. I made the sand more true to color. I made my greens really dull like I always do. I like really dull greens. I used to like vibing, vibrant greens, but now I'm liking more dull greens. And I'm going to saturate my reds like I always do. Really, really red for my book bag and in the balloons. And then I'm going to fix, you know, little things like contrast. And again, these are different for every picture depending on you know, where it was taken, what time of the day, everything like that. So, and I always bring my blacks up, my shadows up, my whites up, my blacks down. I'm sorry, did I say blacks up? Um, pretty much the same for every picture. Um, yeah, bring the blacks down, girl. Come on, bring them down. And my highlights down and always shadows up. Same for every picture I do because it's just the vibe I like. I don't, and my saturation pretty neutral, and just adding a little bit more warmth to the picture just so it matches the rest of my pictures on my feed. Um, again, just little tweaks here and there. Oh, and I like my sky really vibrant, so I always go and saturate the sky. Um, like I don't know, plus fifty or something like that. And I take the yellows out, uh, bright yellows. I don't like any bright yellows in my pictures, so I bring them down, make them more neutral and warm. And I, okay, I'm bringing my highlights up. Usually I bring my highlights down. See, it all depends on each picture, and that's that picture done, you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I consider that simple, or if you consider that simple, I consider it simple. Um... So is there, okay, bullet points that I would take away, I think, are the most important tips as far as editing pictures. Um, I would always say that go for a vibe that you like. So do you like your pictures to look cold? Do you like them to look warm? Do you want your skin to look um, like more sunny? Do you like your skin to look more pale? Do you want to play on what colors do you want to play on and really make pop in the picture? Um, like me, I like my greens really dull, as you can see in all of my pictures. I like my reds vibrant. Do you uh, play on shadows? Um, also, like the video if you want me to do a video, a separate video on exactly how I, I request the picture to be taken, because that's also very important. Um, and it just make sure the best picture is always taken during golden hour, but it's not always that simple to get, you know, golden hour pictures. Um, and they can still work without golden hour, like that picture of me and the hot air balloons. It was 6 a.m. So I really had to like make that picture work. Um, figure out what you want to bring attention to, what you want to bring attention away from, um, how you want the picture to come off. Um, all these things are due to preference. It took me a while to figure out what I like and what I don't like. Um, I did not get this good at editing overnight. It took a lot of practice. I suggest you download Photoshop or Lightroom if you don't already have it and just play around with it. And it's the best way to learn what you like. Again, everything looks better on, I mean, everything looks different on different people. So you could go do my routine and it looks totally 
different because you know you don't have the same hair color or you don't have the same features as me so play around see what looks best for you what you like the best um yeah that's my biggest tip is just to play around and see what you like and then like perfect it um that's kind of what i did it did not come like this overnight again um yeah but i do have a routine like down pack now so i hope this video was helpful and any other videos you guys want to see from me you know you can always just request them and i'll do them thank you guys for watching bye